Hello guys, this is Becca and I am here to share with you a Timu haul. If you don't know what Timu is, it is an app on your phone or your computer. I guess you can get it on the computer and uh, you can purchase items pretty cheaply. Now it does come from across the water so <laughs> it takes it a little while to get here not real too long they're pretty pretty good it hadn't been a whole long time since i ordered this so they don't you know they send it pretty fast and uh i want to share with you now i don't have the prices that i paid for these things i should have wrote it down but i didn't um but I do want to share with you what I've purchased. Uh, the first three items I'm going to share with you. I purchased these for uh, my Bible journaling. To use in my Bible journaling. And so I will start out with this little item. I wished I'd have thought and wrote down how much I paid for these. But I didn't. Um, this is stickers. Uh, doesn't have any other name. It just says stickers. Okay, let's see. These are, do you call them acetate? What do you call them? The little clear plastic or whatever type of stickers. They're all different kind of flowers. And they're not really stickers, I don't think. It said stickers, though. But to be honest, I don't see any backing that you pull off of them for them to be stickers. Let's see. Maybe, yes, it does have a backing. It is a sticker. Okay, great. So it's just all, it's in the pink color. Uh, it's all kind of different uh, roses and flowers. And uh, I got the ones that's in the pink tones. And that one's upside down. It looks like that. But there's just all different kinds in here. Um I thought these would be pretty to put in my Bible journaling. Just to kind of fill up some space, you know, make it look pretty after doing my journal. Guys, if you would like to uh, see my uh, Bible journaling pages as I get them complete, naturally I wouldn't would not do it on video. Uh, because I do my, you know, that's my private time of Bible journaling. And, um, you know, I wouldn't do that, the actual, when I'm doing it on video. But afterwards, I could share it with you. If you would like to see that, let me know in the comments. I'd be glad to share it with you and tell you what I've used and things like that, what I did. Um, it doesn't say on here how many came in here. It did on the website, but it doesn't have it on the package. So, that is one thing I got from my Bible journaling. This here uh, is 50 pieces. And uh, it doesn't say the name of it, what it would be named in, on the website. But it's just uh, Bible journaling uh, stickers. And it is... Uh, well, it kind of feels plasticky, too. It is. The back part is paper. But that kind of... I don't know if it's plastic or just a, a shiny coated paper. Anyway, that says... Uh, big Jesus gal? Oh, okay. Like you're really liking Jesus. You're big for Jesus. Uh, God is love. There is a picture of Jesus. I'm not going to go through all of them. That's just a bunch of different stickers that I can put in my Bible journaling. This is Let Your Light Shine. And it's, it's 50 different stickers. So I'll be using that. And like I said, this is a Timu haul. I purchased these from Timu. Timu, Timu. Different people... I've heard them pronounce it differently. Some people emphasize the E like Timu, and others doesn't emphasize the E. They just say Timu. So, 
uh, however you pronounce it. Now, these are just called decorative stickers, and it says it's paper. Oh, that's what that's saying. This one don't say it, but on the back of this one, it says material is PFT, whatever PFT is. It's just abbreviations, PFT. <laughs> so this here, uh, let's see if it tells how many. Now this one does not tell how many is in here. Not on the outside anyway. This sort of is, uh, it says uh, grocery store series. Okay, it's kind of like it's postcards or postage stamps. It's vintage type stickers. It's not necessarily for, um, specifically for Bible journaling, but um, I figured it would go good in my Bible journal because it's just simply like post stamps or postcards or little tags. Um, you know, that's a spot you can put on there and write on it. Uh, just some cute little vintage type stickers that I can use in my journal. So I don't know how many's in here. 40 piece, it says here on the box. It's a 40 piece. So there's 40 stickers in there. So that is that. So that was what I got for my Bible journaling. I will be using that. Then I purchased some things for my diamond painting, and um, I purchased a diamond painting pen. It is pink, and I think it's gorgeous. I have a red one like this, but I, I got the pink or the purple, whatever color you want to call it. Might be purple. The pink one might be more of a lighter pink, uh, but it came with the pen. It came with some wax for diamond painting, and it came with um, the tips that goes on the pen. It has the crooked plastic tip. I love the crooked ones. Uh, that's a one placer. Then it has a three placer. It has, I think that's the clear four placer right here. This one looks like either, I think this is a six or maybe a seven placer. And then it has just the regular straight one placer that came with it. So all of that came with the pen. And I think the pen was only like a dollar and something. I can't remember for sure. I'm going to try my best on my hauls to start telling you the prices. But now, I was a little shocked at the diamond paintings. It was my fault. I didn't look really good at the size of the diamond painting. I just seen the picture and loved it and didn't think to really look at what size it was. I just knew it was an awesome prize. Well, the reason it was such an awesome prize is because it's such a small diamond painting. And I didn't realize that, but I do like the picture. So it comes with just the regular tool kit. And then look at these beautiful colors of yellows and oranges and browns. That's the main reason I got it was the colors of it. Um, because I've been wanting a diamond painting that was mostly yellow. Why? Because I love yellow. I love yellow and I've been wanting a diamond painting that was mostly yellow and I saw this and didn't think to look at the size of it guys it is a it don't even tell did it tell on here it says 15 by 20 now that's centimeters 15 by 20 centimeters and that is the size of this whole thing, not just the picture. So, do I have centimeters on here? I do. So this whole canvas is a 20 
from blue line to blue line. So, okay, maybe it is. No, it's a little bit. Okay, let's do it from this line to this line. It's almost, it is almost 20 centimeters from this line to this line. Just, it lacks just a little bit. Now, this way it is, and I might not have had that right on it. Let me try it again. Yeah, it's just a, a fraction off short, being short of 20 centimeters long ways. This way it is 15 going this way. So it's a little bit short of, 50, of 20 this way. It is 15 this way in the picture itself. But like I said, I was, I was thinking like 30 by 40 or at least 20 by 30. I wasn't thinking it was going to be this little, and I didn't pay attention. You probably can't even tell what it is, but it is a peacock. This part is the body of the peacock. It has, like, flowers that's muted, you know, like distorted where it won't be in the forefront. Uh, yellow flowers in the back, and then this is the peacock's feathers going down this way. It's so small, the rendering is not going to be good at all on it. Now, as far as the drill feel, it is very clear, very pretty. But the, the actual size of the canvas being so small, you're probably not going to see a lot of details in the picture. Um, because the smaller the picture, the less details you get in it. And I was disappointed when it come in and I said... Next time I buy from from Timu, I am going to definitely pay better attention to the size. That was my fault. I should have paid better attention. <laughs> so, that was that one. And then I saw this one and wanted it. And again, I thought it was bigger. This one says it's a 20 by 20. Instead of a 15 by 20. It says it's a 20 by 20. We're going to measure it and see if it is. Well, if I can get it out. Somehow or another, I'm catching something down there at the bottom. And it's not letting it slip out. Oh, come on now. I didn't want to tear the paper because I wanted to put it back in it. Oh, it's stuck. I wonder if the paper co that covers it come loose. That would be terrible. All right, have I got it pulled up? Oh my goodness, no. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to tear the paper. I didn't want to because I wanted to put it back in it. But I gotta figure out what's happened here. I had glue on the outside. Okay, again, just the regular tool kit. And then look at these pretty colors. I'm not going to open it up and take the beads out. But it's yellows and blues and greens in here. And some beiges. Dark browns. So I thought that was pretty. And oh my goodness guys. This was smaller than that one. I don't understand why. That one said 15 by 20. This one says 20 by 20. I don't understand. I don't understand. Because it's smaller. A lot smaller than this one. Maybe it ain't a lot smaller, but... <laughs> okay. The whole canvas of this one. This is not the picture. The whole canvas of this one is a 20 by 20. So that's going to put the picture being very much smaller. Let's see. Now remember, this is centimeters, not inches. So the picture itself is 15 by 15. Yep. The picture itself is 15 by 15. The whole canvas is 20 by 20. Yep. So... This one's even smaller than the other. Let me see if you can see the thumbnail on this one. You can't, the colors it is, you really can't see the thumbnail any better 
then you can see the drill fill. Matter of fact, the drilled fill on this one picks up better. But this one here is supposed to be birds. Um, I don't know if you pick if the camera's picking that up good or not. But on this picture, there are details. Uh, but it being that small, there's not going to be a lot of details. So these, I'm, I'm probably just going to go ahead and leave these out. Um, I can do these just for the fun of it between times. Um, I'm going to write on here. Let me see if I can find me a marker that I can write with. That I thought I kept my Sharpies right here where I could get them. I want to write on here where I got it from, and I'm going to register these. I'm going to put these in my journal also, but I'm going to put Timu is where I got it from, and I received it actually yesterday. What's today? Uh, today's the 20th. I can't see. 28th? Yes, so I got it on the 27th of 23. And... Let's see, Timu, 1, 27, 23, and this here goes with, okay, this has the DMC numbers on the pack. It also has the number of the canvas on the pack. Um on your uh, ledger here on the side it has the DMC numbers and the symbols and the numbers of each pack so there's 15 colors guys 15 colors on this little canvas here <laughs> okay so on this one uh, the symbols are hard to see on on the ledger they're not hard to see in the picture but here on the side they're a little bit hard to see I'll have to use my magnifying glass on some of them probably there is 18 color no 16 colors in this picture uh, it has the DMC numbers uh, it also has the DMC numbers on the pack and it has the canvas number on the grills. All right, guys, so that is my diamond painting haul from Timu. I wanted to share that with you and my uh, Bible journaling haul. I wanted to share with you. So there they are, and if you would be interested in seeing. Um, you would be interested in seeing my uh, pages my, in my Bible journal when I get, get it done leave me a comment I'll be glad to share that with you also like I said I won't you know do my Bible journaling on video because that's my private time you know but uh, I will show you the the finished results and, and what products I use to decorate it or whatever so all right guys I will talk with you later I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye.